The internet and the use of the internet has changed a lot since HTML 4.01 became a standard in 1999. Today, several elements in HTML 4.01 are obsolete, never used, and not used the way they were intended. So all those elements have been removed or rewritten in HTML 5. To better handle today's internet use, HTML5 also includes new elements for drawing graphics, adding media content such as audio and video, better page structure, better form handling, and several APIs to drag and drop elements. Find geolocation, including web storage, application caching, web workers, and so on. So in this video, we're going to cover the new elements in HTML5 as well as those that have been removed from previous versions of HTML. Starting off with the new canvas element which is used to draw graphics on the fly, which is awesome, via scripting, usually with JavaScript. HTML5 has these new media elements. Audio, which defines sound content. Video, defines a video or movie. Source, defines multiple media resources for video and audio. Embed, defines a container for an external application or interactive content, such as a plugin. Track, defines text tracks for video and audio. There's also new form elements in HTML5, like the data list, which specifies a list of predefined options for input controls. Keygen designs a key pair generator field for forms. And output defines the result of calculations. HTML5 offers these new elements for semantic and structure. Article defines an article. Aside defines content aside from the page content, like a sidebar. BDI isolates a part of text that might be formatted in a different direction from other text outside of it. Command defines a command button that the user can invoke. Details defines additional details that the user can view or hide. Dialog defines a dialog box or window, formerly known as a modal window. Summary defines a visible heading for the details element. Figure specifies self-contained content like illustrations, diagrams, photos, code listings, and so on. Fig caption defines a caption for the figure element. Footer defines a footer for a document or section. Header defines a header for the document or section. H group groups a set of H1 to H6 element selectors when a heading has multiple levels, sometimes referred to as a header group. Mark defines marked highlighted text. Meter defines a scalar measurement with a known range, like a gauge. Nav defines navigation links. Progress represents the progress of a task. Ruby defines the Ruby annotation, typically used for East Asian topography. RT defines an explanation or pronunciation of characters, also used for East Asian topography. RP defines what to show in browsers that do not support Ruby annotations. Section defines a section in a document. Time defines date and time. WBR defines a possible line break. And these are the elements that have been removed from HTML5. Acronym, applet, base font, big, center, dir for directory, font, frame, frame set, no frames, strike, otherwise known as strike through, and tt for text transformation. So here we've covered all the new elements in HTML5. In our next video, we're going to dive into HTML5 structure and how the semantic elements work and how they're constructed in a web document.